Hello, everybody. I'm Jimmy Fantastic. And I'm Tren. And since I'm new to Blood Bowl, I'll be helping Jimmy film his new YouTube series on basic defensive setups and just providing feedback from a new player's perspective. Glorious. Thank you. So, yeah, this is... Um, well, we've got a couple of defensive setups here. Now, the thing is, your defensive setup doesn't really matter that much as long as it's not terrible um, because there are eight turns to play. However, some things are pretty, you know, kind of important. One of them is putting three players in the line of scrimmage. Usually you want to put your worst players on the line you, and usually you don't want to put more than three. There are situations where you might, like maybe if you Kemri and put all four Tomb Guardians on, but generally you want to put your three weakest players on the line because they're going to get knocked over. Um, another element is being two squares back so that quick snap doesn't hurt you if, if they get quick snap. And the kind of other more, more important element is how you can react to a blitz. So there's all, there's a, there's quite a few things going on really. Um, another thing is how long the drive is going to be. If someone has only got two turns to score, then you want to stop a break down the side here, um, or either side for that defense. But if it's going to be an eight turn drive, then this actually becomes like trap space because if somebody goes in here, you can react with your whole team very well. And it's similar with the rule of five here. If you know, if, if you go down here, this can all react very well. So there's a few other things going on. Um, it's nice to have a screen protecting your best players. So here we've, we've gone a bit wider, which lets us react better with a blitz and try to destabilize your opponent's drive. And you want your best players protected from being blitzed, um, which is something you should think about every turn of your every turn of the game. Really, not exposing your best players to get removed. And here we've got the three worst players, and then three protecting the best five. Um, oh yeah, also with a line of scrimmage, usually put them in the middle. But you know, putting them this on on one side is really good. The offset LOS because it makes people think about protecting this space over here, and it means maybe they can't make optimal blocks on the LOS like diagonal blocks it will cost them you know something they'll be a bit weaker to a blitz or something if if they take that so so yeah the offset los can be good and yeah i think that i think that pretty much sums up everything yeah i think that's good glorious right thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic stay fantastic